Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to the Kirby Planet Robobot playthrough. Last time we finished up Area 5, Rhythm Route, and now we're heading to Area 6, Access Arc, which seems to be the uh, center of this world. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's check out the, what's presumably the enemy headquarters. And one thing that's kind of cool here is, like, um, from this point right here, you can actually head back to Area 1, so you can kind of go, like, like, we've made, like, a full uh, journey around the whole planet of Popstar, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Now, I do actually have a bit of good news for you guys, which I'll reveal once we actually get this started here. My R button works again. Yay. Thank God. <laughs> I didn't really do much to get it working again. I just kind of just blew some air into it. Um, it was still not really functioning. And then just after clicking a few times, I finally got a click and it started working again. So I guess the secret is air <laughs> to fixing buttons. I'm still worried though. Like, I mean, obviously it's a temp fix and it could just easily happen again, but... You know, at least I can get through the rest of this project with the R button intact, at the very least. I don't know what that means for other projects, though. That could obviously be a problem. So, yeah, let's see what we have here in the access arc. It looks like, uh, I think this is going to be our main baddie here. Um, I think his name was Haltman. So, we're going to need to do what we can to take him out. See anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh god, crash. I guess I could actually get crash right here. Just a upshoot. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting another one to fall down right there. Everything is blowing up! <laughs> Everything is blowing up around me. What can I do? Nah. So we actually have a security robot we have to deal with here. We're going to go ahead and crash on into him. We actually did a lot of damage to him, too. Oh god. Oh no, he pressed the button. He's gonna explode. Before I do anything, let me grab a power up here. I'll go ahead and use Ninja. I don't see myself using it for very long, but for now I'll use it, I guess. Anything up here? Nope. There's our first code cube. This is just where the button was, so there's nothing else there. So therefore, we're going to keep things moving. Okay, just want to see if there's anything right there. Ah! Don't bomb me! I didn't do anything deserving of getting bombed. At least I don't think I did. Yo! Super happy fun candy time! My favorite. Now I think if we actually take this all the way to the end, we'll actually be able to use it on a robot here. Yeah. I actually got him before he even used the uh, <laughs> before he even used the uh, self destruct button too. Um, anything here? Nope. 
Man, this guy is like almost as full of himself as Bowser is. Almost. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this. I believe that's another code cube. And don't don't worry, there's like nothing in those places. At least I don't think there is anyway. And yeah, I feel a little more secure with Spark right here. But right here, don't go in that door because we have stuff going on over here. Just a one-up though, but still. You know, some goodies you probably don't want to miss out on. Okay. I'm going to probably try to get Archer here in a moment. So we have two pipes we can go into. I think you want to go for the lower pipe, though. I mean, ultimately, it wouldn't have mattered. You would have still got over here, but... I think once again we want to go for the pipe here and you're probably thinking but but slim there's a sticker right there well I guess I could have got that sticker anyway but there's a rare sticker down here I wanted to make sure I got that more than the regular sticker <laughs> if that makes sense Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Yep, okay. Even though it's not a charged up arrow, I should remember that I can do this to spam. Never said it was the best strategy, but hey, it can work. Okay, so there we go. And yep, I see that in the ceiling over there. We're not going to leave without that. There is the last code cube. Now, we only got the rare sticker, so our sticker game wasn't too powerful this time around. At least we'll get a sticker from here. That's all that matters. For the rare sticker, we have the Haltman Works logo and Mr. Bright, because I am very, very bright and so freaking humble about it, too. So now we're going to move on to stage number two. Starting with a bit of an auto scroller. What the? Okay then. <laughs> okay, so yeah, watch out for the sleep abilities. Sleep abilities are not what you want to get in auto scrollers. That's just the way it is. Nothing going on here, so let's keep going. Oh, hey, this thing. Got 
gotta say, I'm kind of digging this music. <laughs> I mean, I I've said from the beginning that the music in this game is great, but like... I don't know, I just kind of like the cool beat, the cool funky beat that this stage has. Damn it. Well, either way, let's get this rare sticker. And keep on going. Shame I don't have beam, because I would have liked to have used that, but... Alas, we will keep on moving. Okay, looks like we have the uh, Kirby robot again. Let us guide him through this next part. Thank you. That was yummy. Okay. Um, we'll use poison, I guess. Oh. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, if you got that Kirby robot all the way there, you can actually make an easier mid-boss fight, which is kind of neat. Okay, so right here, I think that's ultimately what you want to do. Okay, so there's the first code cube. We've already gotten the rare sticker, so we don't have to worry about that. Thank God. Hmm. Wonder if I should have gotten the sword guy. I think we're good. Okay, so for this part right here, we need to make it through without damaging the battery, so... We're going to try to uh, keep the battery alive for as long as possible. And if you thought that was the only time we had to do that, you would be dead wrong and you don't know Kirby games. This for some reason also kind of reminds me of like... The Curtain game in Booster Tower in like Super Mario RPG. Or the, the tiny K rule fight. Where it's like you have to move like back and forth across these different areas. I know, kind of a weird comparison to make, I know. The, the connections we make to other games that we know a lot more about. Give me that code cube. I want it now. Okay, well there's the exits. Okay, there's another code cube. Oh yeah, I think this is the part where you have to hit like all the uh, switches to get this. Okay, I think that's it, yes, okay. Yeah, 
actually got more stickers this time, which is nice. Which only means I'm gonna miss the sticker at the end of the target game, but that is the that's the way it is sometimes. It's my hubris knows no bounds. Yep, see. <laughs> uh, although, is it really hubris when I kind of set myself up to fail right there? Uh, hard to say. Uh, so here we have Scully from uh, Kirby Mass Attack. Once again, a game I need to play more of. Uh, we have the Nightmare Wizard from Kirby's Adventure. And Mr. Shine! We actually got the Mr. Bright uh, sticker like last time, so they got Mr. Shine now. Okay, so that will bring us to stage number three. And I think I remember this one. I think this is a very mech-heavy level. And once again, after this um, level, we'll probably end the video. So, just letting you know that now. I also like how that mech was just hiding inside of that box. actually a pretty cool section with the uh, <laughs> the bomb ability honestly okay. right there's this part now make sure you keep both bombs on screen here that's the only way that this will work That'll give us the first code cube. Hooray for code cube. Okay, we got poison. We got poison. I think we need to use you, maybe. Okay, you can actually use ice to, uh... Purify the uh, poison wind. And I believe this is a part where you want to do that too, because oh come on, really? Obviously, we want to go in here. Okay, another code cube. Yay! The gold Waddle Dee did it. He followed simple instructions and was able to succeed because of them. You could do the same thing too. For only five dollars a month. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Uh, let's see. We got Spark. Let's jump down here. Okay, so here is another screen puzzle we have. Ice, fire, spark. So let's keep that in mind. Ice, fire, spark. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. 
So naturally, we get to take this thing along with us. Buddy, I'll freeze you up for you. Turn that frown upside down. Okay. Look at how happy he is. even gives us a one-up for our trouble. Okay, so that was the first puzzle. Next puzzle, we need fire. We need fire! We need lots of fire! And obviously, fire you use with cannons, so we need to take the cannon with us. cannon to get some goodies. But we're going to continue to take the cannon with us. up to another door. And the last thing we need is the spark ability. And obviously, this is the only thing that uses spark, so naturally we should take this with us. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta do this. Gotta wait for it to get through the block section and then you can undo it. There we go. Okay, there's this. Let's grab this. But we're still missing the final sticker. Or the rare sticker, rather. Oh, right, this one. I do remember this. Okay. Before you do anything here, I don't know if you saw it in this cutscene, but there was actually, yep. There's like two blocks right here. And uh, that's actually what we need to do. We need to press it just once and then launch and there we go. And that'll basically give us the, well, it'll give us some stars, give some healing and it'll give us the rare sticker. And funnily enough, we go up right here, we'll get the other sticker too, so we don't miss out on that by going that different route either. And yeah, that'll do it for that level, and that'll actually do it for this video. And I missed. Damn it. I know I shouldn't let it bother me that much, but still. It's like, you know, you I want to make progress, so... On the sticker collection, I mean... We got the human kanji. We get the waddle doo doodle. The waddle doodle. 
We get zero from Dreamland 3. And the EX sticker. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Next time, we'll continue on with more of the Access arc. I think we'll probably get through another, like, three levels or so. We're actually getting really close to the end of this, actually, too. But yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Later, folks.